It's your boy Imperial Valley bringing you the latest chapter of Black Clover. Let's get into it. Chapter titles, The Details of a Journey in Through a Foreign Land. Chapter opens up with Aster looking around, thinking and saying, this is the land of the sun, Captain Yami's home. And so they got an image of Captain Yami inside of Aster's head. And then the Shogun, Ryula, he tells Aster, look, relax, relax. Don't look so damn, don't look, don't look so scared. Like, relax, like, acting gonna be good, acting cool. So Asta turns around and looks at him like, what are you like? So what is a Shogun? Like, what is it really? So Ryuga looked like, uh, how, how can I explain this to him? Like, ah, do you know what? Okay. So in Yahweh, a Shogun would be relative to the Wizard King. So we own status with the Wizard King, if, like, if you know what I mean. So that's, uh, that's the title of our God, just different name type stuff. So you're looking like, all right, cool. So uh, that's, that's interesting. So Asta looks around like, that's interesting because like, I feel his key, but it's like, you don't feel as strong, like, as per se, like, as Yami and him. So you really laugh, like, <laughs> because honestly, I'm, I'm not strong. Like, I'm really just, I'm, I'm not all that strong. Like, that's why you can't actually sense magical power on me. None of that. Like, I'm not strong at all. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm quite weak. So the chick looks at him like, look at Aster like, yo, I get that he's been all nice to you, hoorah type stuff, but yo, at the end of the day, that's still the shogun right there. Like, you need to watch your tongue. You need to show some manners. You feel me, mate? But <laughs> so Aster get a little scared, tell him, I'm a I'm shy. I'm shy. I, I I didn't mean to offend nobody. So he looks at it and he gets into more detail. He like, oh, but at the end of the day, Huck, he feels so familiar. But at the same time, I can definitely for sure tell she's angry at me. So you could look like, you know what? I'm sure you shocked after to wake up in a whole different foreign land. So let's let's take you around. Like let's have you look around just to have you feel more at ease. A little less tense with things. So they go, so after Ryuga walking around, just looking at places, you got people all greeting the Shogun, and all that good stuff. And then, so after looks like, that's magic, isn't it? But they aren't using Grimoire, so he looked confused. And guys, guys, and ladies, this is when Ryuga tells him, in the land of the sun, everyone uses scrolls to perform, to perform sorcery, guys. That's right, sorcery. So, therefore, I, 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 I feel like now it's like a whole new element, a whole new source of power just got confirmed. And now you wonder, like, okay, so, like, did Yami ever learn this? Or did he not have an act or affinity for it? Like... What y'all guys thinking about it? Like, why we never really saw Yami using this? So he also continues to say, what you folks call magic and magic power, we call it sorcery and sorcery power. And then you have Oscar just pulling one of um, Julius' moves, the previous Wizard King, looking so shocked and excited. And he's so happy. So then he starts to look like, yo, those, no, no more tomatoes. Like, the specialty in Hans Village, like, so the guy like he who sells him like yo you, you got a good eye like <laughs> you got a great eye on you kid like <laughs> yeah then you got and then you see Ryuma he looks around he smells and you got Alsko who looks at this mother and two children were and they have a flashback of him Yuno and Sister Lily Sister Lily and then he have this bad bad reimage of Sister Lily. When she tells him to die, and he start to feel dread and despair and let him stab it. So Yuma looks at him, and then he just walks over to them two, like, hey, you two, like, come here, come here, like, step over here, like, just, just over here for a moment. And then next thing you know, a whole huge explosion just happens, and it's like, a group of bandits shows up that's called the Scoundrels. So they tell him, if you don't want to die, 
you know all your food and your valuables, mate. Like, th th this is mine. So, Asta tells them all to run away. So, Asta looking like, okay, so, I, I see now it's just, it's bad people in every country. And then he looked like, yeesh. So, Ryu looked like, yeesh, that was a surprise. Yeah, go on. So, Asta's looking like, did he save them by accident? And then he says, no. He moved them to the spot to save them. So, the, the guy, that the, so I'm going to say the hat honcho, the, the bandits look at him like, eh? Like, what the hell you doing, man? Like, you look a little funny. Like, you want to get yourself killed? Like, <laughs> so, and then, shocking revelations. You going to say, as I'm sure y'all can feel, I have no sorcery power whatsoever. So, guys, this is like a whole older version of Asta right here. Because, you know, Asta didn't have no magic, no magic power. He couldn't sense magic. None of that good stuff. And now it's like, we got Ryuga who's doing this, who's saying the same thing. It's like, yo, who would have ever thought? So, the chick that we saw earlier actually names Ichika actually steps in. And she does something crazy. And then she you like, like she used this wild type of sorcery type magic, if you want to call it that. And it's like, yo, everything changed. And like we see four split images of, while we still see a, a, a like a shadow image of her remaining in the back. And she just take out all the bandits at one sweet swoop. And then Asta's looking like, what was that? That's like that's crazy. And it's like. He started to think about it. He like, yo, that looks like key manipulation, but tenfold, so much more on a grandioso scale. So Yuma looking like, look here, bro. Look here, Asta. Just call me Ryu. And then Ichika grabs Asta by the face, telling him, look, don't, don't approach me so casually outside because I don't like men. Mainly men like you. And then we get the whole revelations that Ichika is Jami's younger sister. And if he wishes to get stronger, he has to go train with the seven Ryuzen. And that is so crazy. And that is the end of this chapter, guys. I'm going to definitely give it a 10 out of 10. It's, it, it was very information, informative. I'm quite shocked about the whole revelations. And it's interesting to me. I like it because like, they gave us so much details, so much shock to reveals. But subscribe, like. Comment down below what y'all think, and remember, have an awesome day. Imperial Valley out. Peace.